We just took a beating. They took our passports, and long story short, they said we can't continue on the river. So the river trip is over. All right, well, as you can see, I'm walking. And funny enough, I'm walking in the exact direction that I came from this morning. And we actually stayed just over there at another temple last night. And there was actually a fire, a house lit up in fire. We heard these screams like, ah, ah, ooh, ooh. And we're like, what the hell is going on over there? And then we saw these flames coming up. Oh shit, there's a house fire. By the time we got over there, the house was fully up in flames and there was nothing we could do. We felt sort of awkward standing around because people were in pretty serious agony and pain. And we couldn't really help because we didn't speak the language. Everybody was okay though. It's obviously pretty traumatic. A bunch of kids crying, and grandma's like wailing. Yeah, and then people came by our place by our boat last night, like late at night. And I think one of the guys was like the cop guy and he had time to think what he's gonna do with us and took a photo of our boat in the night. And that's when he was like, oh, they can't, what do they, who do these Falang think they are? They can't paddle down the Mekong. That's not allowed. Unfortunately, the boat trip has come to an end. Uh, well, we got an early start on the river and we were paddling down and we passed border customs office. There was four guys standing up on the hill Shortly after, we heard a boat coming down on our tail and slowed down right beside us, and we knew pretty much instantly that they were going to harass us. They made us paddle back upstream to the place. They actually offered to tow us, but I was, I was like, no, 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 I paddle. And thankfully, they were cool with that. And they brought us over to the office and made us wait for what seemed like a long time. It was probably 10 minutes. Then they came and got our passports. And then um, our law says that uh, you know, a foreigner can't be paddling down the river like this. I think it was bullshit. I don't think there is a law that says that you can't paddle down the Mekong River, but I had heard that they have issues with it, so I wasn't surprised. I wasn't that bummed either. I thought we were gonna get harassed a lot earlier on in the trip, but I thought that if we got past Yuan Chang, that it would actually be okay, but I'm gonna sign this thing and give us our thumbprint. Thankfully, they didn't fine us anything or try to get any money out of us. That would have been insult to injury. Say goodbye to Felix. And thankfully, I've been able to avoid the highway. So far, I haven't walked on the highway yet. It's about 90K. Things are looking up. I actually feel pretty great. I'm happy walking. Uh, there's been a bit of shade, bit of cloud cover. Walked through some rubber plantations. Latex, rubber, tires, condoms, you name it. Whatever you want, whatever you got, this is what we got. Yeah, all around feel feel pretty good. There's been a ton of black worms. There hasn't been any rain recently. What are they doing? Oh, they're under my feet. They're everywhere. Ah, ah, ah. They look hungry. Oh my God. What are these things? Freaky. Look how many of them there are. Yeah. A little rise in the hill here. And there's the Mekong. And Thailand over there on the other bank. See the temple over there? Oh, shit. Well, I'd actually thought about this walking uh, along these small trails uh, where not many people walk along. I thought there might be traps. And sure enough, I just let one off. Snare. Pretty, pretty classic snare trap here. Thankfully, that thing probably wouldn't have done much damage. It's actually a pretty poorly designed snare. Uh, I guess that works. Yeah, it gets... It's whatever it is right around the neck. I'm guessing that's to catch a dog or a cat, maybe a big cat. Maybe there's tigers around. That'd be cool. Anyways, I just glanced the top of it up here and it flung up, so it's somewhat effective, I guess. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out as I walk forward. keeping my eyes open going forward here because see this bowed stick here and I don't know if you can see the wire but the wire goes right down to another snare could easily get my foot in there although I don't think that branch would lift me up so it'd probably just be really painfully and awkward that would be interesting I wonder if it could lift me up I don't think so I'm not gonna try how about we avoid the snare this right here has got to make it into my top five favorite fruits. 
I'm used to seeing them yellow in South America, but in Southeast Asia, they are purple and they are delicious. Maracuya or passion fruit. Mm -mm -mm. They don't call them passion fruit for nothing. They are uh, a well-known aphrodisiac. Don't you love that word, aphrodisiac? Pretty like seedy juiciness inside. You can eat the seeds, super sour, super delicious. I love them so much. I usually just crack them open like this and then spoon out. Oh yeah. Aphrodisiac. Don't you love that word? Afro, afro, aphrodisiac. Passion fruit. Aphrodisiac. Afro, aphrodisiac. So delicious. Aphrodisiac. Afro, aphrodisiac. So it's been quite nice to get off the highway, get onto some dirt roads with less traffic. It's just something that comes along with that. This is a mild dusting. So this is the scene at the temple right now. We've got a market happening with a thing where you can throw darts at a balloon and win drinks, pop and soy milk and stuff like that. And some techno beats dropping. They stopped them for about an hour while the monks did their praying. Now it's back on, and I'm sleeping right here. This is where I'm gonna sleep. I don't think this video is gonna go all night long. I really doubt it. I just stepped on this thing. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs>